YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another banger. Today, we got the last cigar from the sampler from Monte Fortuna Cigars. We're gonna be reviewing the Trinidad Vigia. Cannot wait for this, I love Trinidad cigars. Oh yeah, before we get into it, man, I know you probably noticed by now my ears, you guys know I'm a firefighter. Got involved in a pretty bad apartment fire, man. The fire was got, got really hot, so as you see, ears are all blistered up, but hey, as they say, the show must go on. See y'all hang tight and stay tuned and we'll get it. All right, you guys, as I was saying earlier, the last of the Cuban series by Monte Fortuna Cigars. Again, we're gonna give a huge shout out to them for sending that sampler pack over for me. Enjoyed everything that I got out of the package. It was very good. A lot of cigars I wasn't able to try. Some cigars I've had before, but overall really enjoyed it. As I mentioned before, again, if you shop at Monte Fortuna, they guarantee their shipping is worldwide and it'll be free if the order is over $150. So be sure to go over there, check that website out, Authentic Cuban Cigars. They've been in business since 1985. Also, I was just reading a comment that Kevin over at Cigar Prop was saying too. I know he mentioned it a couple times that he was done with the series. Kevin, this is the last video of the series, so you got one more to watch, man. Also want to give a shout out to a couple of my Patreons, man. Shout out to Mystical Gent. Shout out to Don, my perfecto brother Don, my perfecto brother Joe. Uh, shout out to E Hunt, shout out to Kevin Neal, shout out to Uncle Lee. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Ashhead Cigar Junkie, man, he's got a YouTube channel too, so go over there and check him out. Really, really appreciating you guys for you know taking the time out to invest in me and to ensure that the channel doesn't go anywhere. Again, um, that, that's, that's really appreciated by me. So without further ado, we'll get into the cigar. As you guys know, this is a Cuban Puro. It is a four and three eighths by 54 ring gauge. Trinidad, known for their pigtails, as you can see, got the nice little pigtail on it. Has kind of like that paper bag, color brown. The seams are visible, they're really tight though, really, really nice and tight. Quite a few veins on this thing. Actually, I was even looking at through the, the band of the cigar, you can see like the imperfections, which I thought was the band, but then it, as I was tracing it, it's the veins in the cigar, but not really toothy at all. It's actually even weird, it actually, Smells kind of like how a paper bag smells too, so we'll uh, get right into it, man. Well, I was gonna cut it, but again, I'm gonna try to see if this pigtail works, so we'll go there. Rip right off. Actually think we're gonna be able to work with that draw, man. That's exciting. Looking like my boy Martin over here, man. Now give me a new one. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, man, I know y'all are probably noticing like the, the the shininess of my ears and stuff, man. They're just like all big blisters now from this apartment fire I was in. It was it was really really hot in that thing, man. So fortunately, everybody got out safe. There was no no harm to anybody, no uh, harm to any firefighters or anybody that lived in the apartment too. So that's always the main thing. So hey, I, I count that as a blessing. Immediately hit with that taste that I tell you guys about all the time. It's authentically Cuban. A lot of green tea, a lot of pepper. I'd say pepper coming in probably about a seven out of 10. It's actually kind of weird. It's kind of like you're getting, you're getting some cedar on that retro hill and then when you're taking a normal draw, I would say it's more kind of in that lo the line of the oak family, but as I'm retro hill and that cedar is kind of showing itself too. So liking how this is starting out. So you guys hang tight. I'll get through this first third or come back, you know, when I feel like it's changed or anything. Let you guys know body strength, flavor, all that good stuff. So y'all uh, hang tight, stay tuned. We'll be back in, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, so we're, we're pretty much about halfway through. Uh, burnt lines, not razor sharp, but nothing that needs attention or anything. Draw has been very good, especially, I'm gonna try to, at some point on this video, I'll probably give you guys a close up of, of how much I took away from the uh, pigtail and, and, and the draw is perfect. You know, I, and before I get on this, this uh, before I start rambling, but uh, I also wanted to give, a, I couldn't believe I forgot my brother, Alan Shepard too, man. Shout out to Alan Shepard. He sent me over a few cigars that I'll be reviewing in the future too. He knows how I feel about it, man. Really appreciative of you too. Another Patreon member of mine, man. Um, I can't I can't put into words how grateful I am for you, man, and Don and Joe. Like you guys have taken really, really good care of me. So shout out to Alan Shepard too. As, as I was gonna say about these, these Cubans, man, 
it's really weird because as you guys know I'm, I'm more into the medium to full 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 body full flavor cigars and I still feel like I prefer those but it's really really nice when you get a, a really good change of pace cigar sometimes because I feel like that's kind of why I got burnt out on Maduro's a little bit unless they're well fermented or you can tell they're really aged like for some reason Maduro's just aren't hitting my palate right like they used to when I first started smoking that was the preferred wrapper leaf for me but now as you guys know I love Corojo, love Habano, uh, love really well aged Cubans and it just over time you just you'll get you'll be surprised and captivated how much your palate can change. I don't even think this Trinidad is that old and it still tastes really good. It's not like the flavors are really full or intense, but the flavors are just, I wouldn't even, it's kind of, it's not subtle. It's a little more than subtle, but they're really nice, man. It's just a, it's just a nice tasting cigar, man. You're still getting the, um, you're getting a, a very soft, like milk chocolate, vanilla undertones. You're still getting nice cedar. You're still getting the tea. You're still getting a little black pepper that's kind of gated back from the beginning. All the flavors, you can pick them out, but at the same time, it's like they're all melded together in very well. The cigars aren't cheap, man, but to me, I just think they're kind of a neat investment, kind of sort of say, you know, you already like the cigar. Now, let's say that, I don't know, again, I don't know how old the cigar is that Monty Fortuna sent me, but let's say that this cigar was, I don't know, a year old. And it already is good, so with me knowing that Cubans get better with time, I can only imagine how good this cigar will taste if I decide to let it sit down for another year or two, man. And I think that's what happened with that Monty, Monty number two in the tournament. It just had so much, or and it wasn't even aged but two years, but it had more time and the flavors just really popped. So really enjoying this thing. I would say the, the body is uh, textbook medium, flavors are medium, and I would say the strength is mild. This isn't a strong cigar either at all by any stretch, but I'm a really big Trinidad fan. I love Bolivars too. But yeah, I feel like most Cubans in the portfolio, a lot of them, are, you know, you'll read articles and stuff and they'll say medium, medium to full, but none of this stuff. I, I think at best you might get some mediums in there, but even the Bolivars are medium to me, but the flavors is what, what I feel like is hard to compete with. Or I feel like that's what Nicaragua or Dominican Republic or Honduras, when they take Cuban seeds, they try to emulate the Cuban flavor. But I just think the terroir of the area is just, you just can't get to, you know what I mean? It's just, you're not able to do what Cuba does, man. It's just unfortunate that with how the government and stuff is over there, they don't have really time to let the cigars rest like they should. They just have to pump cigars out and push them. So I'm still really enjoying this cigar. It's very good. So I'll come back towards the end of this thing, give you guys some numbers, and we'll get out of here. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, y'all, finishing up this cigar or finishing up the Vigia, Trinidad Vigia. Really enjoying this thing. It's very, very good. No complaints. Actually, I would probably say of the sampler, this is probably my favorite one that I've smoked I, and I actually haven't smoked this Vitola I've smoked a lot of other Trinidad's but this was my first time smoking the Vigia really enjoyed it so we'll go ahead and give you the numbers on it for flavor I gave it an 18 out of 20 the draw a 20 out of 20 got a reward a pigtail that operates and and draws well burn was a 20 out of 20 never had to relight no touch-ups or anything like that complexity is 16 out of 20 wasn't a very complex cigar i would say the flavors pretty much stayed pretty much the same the last third the intensity of the tea and the wood came milk chocolate is still there in the background it's not as intense as like the first and second third it's just kind of an underlying kind of rest in the back of your throat like when you're tasting that finish but very enjoyable i think again this is a cigar that anybody could smoke and enjoy whether you're a beginner with cigars or a beginner trying to uh, figure out a Cuban you want to smoke or if you're a veteran smoker, I think you would enjoy this too. And then I gave the strength a 16 out of 20. Definitely stronger than a lot of the other ones in the sampler pack, but, at, but still not strong. I would say this ended up on the light side of medium, but nothing to be worried about or anything like that. No nicotine hit or anything like that. So overall score is going to be a 90 out of 100. Very good cigar. Would love to get my hands on a box of these and let them sit for another year, maybe two, and see where it goes. I, I know the flavors would only get better and better. So, hey, again, I want to give a huge shout out to Monty Fortuna for sending the sampler pack over uh, for me to review. Hopefully in the future they might send me some more stuff for you guys and we might do another Cuban review. Who knows? So we'll see which way the wind blows. But uh, appreciate you guys again for tuning in. And y'all already know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And y'all already know to be driven, never motivated. We'll catch y'all on the next one.